what is in a credit decision? Your credit insurer has all kinds of information that leads them to a certain idea as to um, how to come up with a credit limit. Some of the things they look at are things like financial statements of the buyer. They also look at credit reports, you know, um, those things that tell you how other people are getting paid. They have other policyholders that feed information to them on a monthly basis. Um, there's overdues that are reported to the insurers. They have claims information. If your client has had claims in the past, there's a really good chance the insurer uh, knows about it. Um, information from banks. So the bankers report to the insurance companies as far as lines of credits and, and operating accounts. The underwriters go to visit your client to get more information, to understand what's behind those financial statements. Um, there's some public information out there as well that they gather. Um, there's information from ratings agencies. There are collection agencies that they tie into and, and get information from. And when they're done with all of that information, they take it all and they create things called Z-scores and they look at the ratios as well. So all of that will give the insurer a score, usually one to 10. Um, some insurers use a scale from uh, 10 to 50 or one to five, um, but they're all a little bit different, but they all have a ratings scale. Now, what happens when your buyer is too high risk? Well, maybe that is a good time to make a decision whether you want to continue to deal with them or not. Uh, but at the end of the day, isn't it nice to have a heads up and know that your credit insurer has the information and is able to help you prevent a major loss? Um, and at the end of the day, if they didn't catch all of that, um, the insurers do pay claims. So you're protected.